What's up, guys? What else? It's Wes Classy and Jimmy here. Welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1. At last time we checked in, back in Part 2, we see Virtual's Farm now. We're in some sort of drugstore that Lee knows. The pills are in there. There's no getting in there from out here. That great does its job. Well, I'm gonna do with that energy bar. I won't give it right now. Now we got two. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Greeting cards? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything Food before box. this all went there down. There has to be something. It's not damaged. Well, this place didn't get looted. Okay. Alright, guys. Alright, can't find a second end. Another energy bar? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Uh, something wrong with a radio. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. There has to be some batteries around here. Hey, Carmen. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Cherry Blossom. Real hard-hitting stuff. Blossom. Sounds worth That's it. Uh, what should I say? I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. I better get back to it. Yep. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Huh. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. 
Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Keisha does fight for me still, right? Jesus. Look at all those zombies, guys. Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Okay. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends, family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like... Oh my god, there's so many zombies, right, guys? Look, who's that guy? Look at the one trapped over there. He looks just like Lee. Better him than us, huh? Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. And they start rotting and get all chewed up and shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Lee's brother. Prove that that guy worked here, and then we can try to. I did not realize that Lee had a sibling. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Is that a TV Too store? Bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape. That's all I know. Hey, man, what are you doing? Can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Let's try it one more time. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Huh, there was a lot of creepy zombies out there. Clementine, let's talk to her. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. 
We'll see that lily girl once. Let's talk to her. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Look, I put the... Look, 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 look what the smart thing I did. Look. All right, what should I say? Mm -hmm. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Gotta put it on the plate so that way it won't spill. I will. Huh? No. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. We'll do our damnedest. Yeah. Haley, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, all right? Cat, it's not our business. Oh, God. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. 
What would it have taken? You're free, duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Oh, wow. Nothing. Try to get some rest. Is that ice cream menu? Now. How can I with those things out there? It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay, let's see what else is in the drugstore. Uh, hmm. Maybe this for Lily's dad, Larry. He should... It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. <coughs> mm, we should give Clementine this. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Well, Clementine is the person that I that I that I had to grab. Well, I didn't steal her. Open office. This place is tidy. brother find anything it's a photo of the family who owns this place might help us track down the keys to the office I know who you are you're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care the of. Carly girls, nice. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Carly or removed. Oh, pallet. What's that? 
This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Hmm. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay, something's not right here. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, come on, let's do this. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. My dad is an engineer too, jobs. but he's a but he's a car engineer. What's your job? I, well, he uh, does work. My dad does work in our office. Things like that. Like um, social studies. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Okay. Let's continue moving. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. First aid kit. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Let's 
Let's see what else is there. Bandage. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Let's try the TV to the remote. That's what I figured. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Zombie out on the street. The pants came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Yeah, he was. And you had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh. Okay. All right, let's get in the drug. Get back in the. Dr let's exit out the drugstore. Oh God. Your thing. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. <coughs> I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, anyways, you'll show Dawson to us, Cousin Jimmy, here, sending out. Peace.